Welcome back to my Monday Motivational Mindset. And wherever in the world you're watching this, I'm hoping you're well. I hope you had a really, really nice weekend and had some little bit of da- downtime and, and that you, you're feeling good. Monday morning, here we go for another week. And wanted to get into the, the subject that I've, I've developed this video on and that was centered around better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. <laughs> and I was familiar with this expression for quite a number of years, but I, I never really fully understood it, I guess, until more recently. And f- what I've come to learn more recently is that, you know, it's, it's, it's better, you know, something familiar you're familiar with, even if you're not necessarily happy with that or altogether happy with it. Um, but it's better, it can be better to have that rather than stepping into something that you, you don't know what's coming and you don't know if it's going to work. And I remember the first time I started really noticing that in people around me, it was kind of in my early 20s when I started working. You know, like most, I'd gone through high school and then college and, and started working in my early 20s. And I remember at that time noticing peers, you know, people that I was working with, with um, in many cases that were older, in their, in their 30s, 40s, 50s and beyond. And in some cases, they just clearly were not happy. Uh, and I generally, I, I, I came to learn pretty quickly that it seemed that they weren't happy in their work because they were complaining about it they were you know they were always seeing the glass half empty versus the glass half full and i remember very naively thinking at the time well why not just leave do you know if you're not happy leave do something that you enjoy doing because what's the point otherwise uh, <laughs> how naive i was back then because you know over over the years since then i've come to realize it's not it's quite as easy as that and I think sometimes it can be very hard to move away from something that we, even though we were not happy, we don't enjoy it, because at least we have security, right? And, and yeah, I'm, I'm talking more doing something uh, work-wise that we don't enjoy. Um, it can be very hard to step away from because what's the alternative, right? Bills have to be paid, you have to function, all that sort of stuff, and I get that. I saw that even more so on, you know, I, I worked on cruise ships for 20 years and I saw even more of it then because I saw people that had been doing it for quite a few years and they clearly weren't happy and even more so there because, you know, you gave up so much to be there. You were away from family or friends for four months, six months at a time and I just felt it was a very high price to pay and it but, but again, I understood it, you know, and I'd see people leaving and then six months later, they'd be back or a year later, they'd be back um, because it was that security. It, you know, even if they were going back to something they were not happy doing, at least they knew what they were going back to. Right. And I don't know, I think I think a lot of I can certainly relate to that being in a job that I wasn't happy doing, you know, and I think Mondays especially can be a great test for just where we're at in our lives if we're happy if we're content because not not for everybody but for most um, people watching this most probably you're going back to week after a weekend off or after Sunday off or maybe not but in, in a lot of cases that would be the case and for me a, a, just a, a, a real clear test on, on where we're at is how you feel you know getting up for work on a Monday morning do you feel happy do you feel energized? Do you feel content going back to work? Or do you dread it, <laughs> right? And I can certainly, that's, that's where I can totally relate to it because I was that person. Not that long ago, uh, I was in a job that I was not happy in at all. But it was paying the bills and, and while I was looking for a way out, I knew that that was the way that it had to be um, for then. But the thought of being stuck in in that place for month after month year after year was terribly depressing to be quite honest with you and i just feel so grateful that uh, i found a way out and and that way you know for me if you've been following my journey was to to, to take on something new at at 52 um to start learning how to become an online marketer and i mean if you want to pick something that was scary to get into and that not having any clue um, if I was going to succeed, that was it because I had no background in doing it. But 
my desire for change was that strong that I was willing to give it a try and to give it my all. And it, you know, I can, I, I can look back now. I'm, you know, I'm making this to you on a Monday morning. My, <laughs> my Mondays feel so different now to just 14, 15 months ago when I was in that job that I was not happy doing. Uh, you know, I wake up now. I can't wait to get started, uh, and I get to do it on my terms. I'm here making this to you uh, on a Monday morning, um, sitting by my pool. I'm going to be jumping on some coaching calls today, um, just running my own business now. And while it has taken, absolutely, it's taken a lot of work to get it to that point, it is totally, totally worth it. And I would say that regardless of what it's going to take, if it brings you the happiness that you're looking for, whether it's to have more quality time uh, with your family, whether it's to be more financially free, whether it's to, to wake up and feel happy doing what you're doing, to have more time to do the things that you love to do, to be able to do it on your terms. And that's what I love most about being an online marketer. I have the freedom to do things the way that I want to do them. I work hard, but I just work hard in a different way. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, the, 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 devil, the devil you know versus the devil you don't know, it doesn't have to be that way. There is an alternative. Um, because I just see a pattern of so many people just you know just going through the motions year after year after year because they're afraid to step away from what it is that's making them so unhappy because at least it's something familiar and that doesn't have to be the way it, it really really doesn't I know that I can help a lot if you choose to step into this space there's going to be so much that I can do to help and support you but I also understand that that change can be really, really difficult. So as always, I hope you found some value in this, that it's thought provoking. Uh, I would welcome your, your comments below. If you are watching this on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so that you continue to receive these videos from me. I hope you have a really, really great week ahead and that this is, does, you know, just seeing this, if you're seeing this on a Monday, that it's hopefully made your Monday just that little bit better. Uh, do reach out at any point and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great week ahead. Take care.